In this video, I'm going to teach you how we can develop this nice, beautiful target versus actual chart in Google Sheet. And in this chart, we can see the target, the actual value, and the outside target as well. In some scenario, our actual cell is greater than target and they will be show as a green color. If even we input this actual value to let's say 60, it will show as a green because this is outside of target value. No further ado, let's go together. To develop this chart, first we need to copy paste all of the data set into a new blank worksheet. Now we will develop the three helper column. The first column will be the actual column. And for this, we will type the formula equal to if. If actual sale is greater than the target. So if the actual is greater than the target, so we only want the target value. Else we want the actual value. And we will accept the suggestion. Now the next column will be the target. And in this, we will type the formula equal to if if c2 is greater than p2 again the same formula but in this formula we want to return a blank if the actual value is greater than the target value otherwise we want to see the result p2 minus c2 and we will close the bracket hit enter the next column will be the outside target and for this column we will type the formula if again the same formula if the actual sale is greater than target sale we want the c2 mean the actual minus target otherwise we want a blank Close the bracket, hit enter and accept the suggestion. Now we need to select all of the data and go to insert chart and we will select the stake bar chart. Once we select the stake bar chart, we need to remove the daily target and the actual series. And now we lift with the actual target and outside target only okay what we need to do if we just need to let's say replace this to a 30 we can see this working fine the next thing we need to do a little bit formatting so how we can do it first we need to reduce the size of the cell okay the next thing we need to develop the space for the header We need to format this a little bit. We need to select a few column, merge them and then select any border you like. And I think if we apply the border on this, this will look consistent. Now we need to drag the chart over the blank area we need to reduce the size a little bit in this case we don't want the day label we just need to increase the size to fit on this blank area now we need to double click on the chart and we will customize chart style we don't want the background and we don't want the chart border okay if you want to change the color, click on the chart, click on the three icon, edit the chart, go to customization series and the actual, for example, for the actual, you want this darker color or the target, you, for example, you want this lighter color and for the outside target, just select a green. And this is how we can develop this beautiful chart. I hope you like the video. Thank you so much.